The Weed of the Week brought to you by Show Me Shortline and the Richiger FlexiGrain Storage System. Affordable, flexible storage is here. Richiger R-Series bagger and unloader from Show Me Shortline. Maximize your profits with adaptable storage and management. Reduce storage costs and gain a competitive edge by selling at the right time. Visit us online at showmeshortline.com. Well, I'm amazed, Brian. It's only May and you're already worried about aphids in our fields. Well, we haven't even got the beans planted in this field. Yeah, but you have to be concerned about a bug that has just devastated soybeans across the Midwest in the last 10 years. They're terrible. And they live on one particular plant over the wintertime, and that plant is buckthorn. And Darren, you know, from just talking to our guys the other day on the farm, they told me that your particular field was loaded with buckthorn. I, so are you trying to breed aphids? Well, I, I was just kind of wondering about why Brian was spending so much time out around my field. He must have been planting some buckthorn out there. Now, we're joking about this, but there really is a lot of buckthorn around in our area that's just naturally out in tree groves and along the rivers and this kind of thing. And when we first started talking about soybean aphids, I remember the very first year we had aphids on our farm and one of the universities was saying, oh, you know, they're going to overwinter on this buckthorn. And my sister went out with a camera and in about a half an hour, she came back with all kinds of footage of buckthorn. Brad and I were just horrified. We thought, oh my goodness, we've got this much buckthorn right around our farms. And we really do. There's quite a bit of buckthorn out in the trees. Well, especially along the river. I mean, lots of trees down there. There is buckthorn among the trees, and that's where traditionally we've had the first aphids moving into fields. So we've had to spray even as early as mid to late June for aphids down there. It's just terrible. But what we're talking about here with this buckthorn as a plant is if you want to get it under control, you can either go out there and cut it off individually. There is a product you could use that will kill buckthorn, but unfortunately it will also kill trees too. That's Tordon. Well, and, and again, we're talking about buckthorn. We're not talking about wild buckwheat. We're not talking about buckbrush out in pastures. <laughs> this is a different weed. So if you aren't familiar with it, you probably should get familiar with identifying this particular weed and then looking for it around, especially in the trees and fence lines around your place. Yeah, it's a it's a little shrub basically. And again, if you want to get it under control, just cut it off. It's, it's, it's going to take you some time to probably do that in amongst your trees and everything. And if you do have some out near a field or let's say it's in a pasture, or something like that. Tordon does a pretty nice job. Just keep in mind that Tordon needs to be kept away from water. Tordon kills fish and Tordon will kill trees too. So just make sure you're really careful with that Tordon, but it is a nice product on buckthorn. Well, this is one of the cool weed of the weeks for us because not only can you control weeds, you could also potentially slow down your soybean aphid impact in your fields as well because that's where aphids like to overwinter is on these buckthorn plants. Well, that's it for our weed of the week, but stay tuned. There's more Ag PhD to come right after this.